Ladies and guys who want to know whether or not they should keep seeing a girl. Andy here, author of the best Tinder guide on the internet. This is the Kill You're in a Loser show. Let's fucking go. So I'm going to give you guys a shortcut today or a cheat to figure out whether or not you want to keep seeing a girl. So whether it's a casual relationship, a serious relationship, this also applies to friendships, family members, uh, job relationships, like a colleague or, or a boss, any of that sort of stuff, any relationship in general, but especially a relationship with the opposite sex. Girls listening, this applies to you too. What you do when you're not sure whether or not you want to keep seeing someone or you think you want to keep seeing them, but you're kind of trying to figure that out. Ask yourself four questions. There's only four questions that ever need to be answered that tell you whether or not you... I won't say should, but whether or not a relationship is worth keeping. A casual, a serious relationship, a friendship, whatever it is. Am I happy? That's your first question. Second question. Is the other person happy? Third question. Am I getting more positives out of this relationship or friendship or whatever than negatives? Is this person a net benefit to my life, basically? And then the fourth question is, am I a net benefit to their life? So again, I'll go through those. Am I happy? Are they happy? Am I getting more positives than negatives out of this? Are they getting more positives than negatives out of this? That's it. Those are the only four questions that you ever need to ask yourself when it comes to a casual relationship, a serious relationship, like I said, a friendship. If you're not sure, like, oh, should I keep hanging out with this person? Yes or no? Sometimes we, we put these, like, I don't want to say requirements, but <clears throat> we're sitting there trying to figure out whether or not we want to keep a friendship or a relationship and all this other extraneous information comes in like all these other things like oh but you know sometimes my friend dan or whatever he smokes a bit too much weed and i don't know if that's like the kind of friend that i want to have in my life because i'm trying to go in a more positive direction you know and i just don't know if the weed is like that sort of person that i want to be and blah 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 and i will say to you know especially if this is like a coaching call or something and someone hits me with this i'll say okay are you happy being friends with this dan guy and they'll say like well yeah is Dan happy being friends with you? Yeah. Okay. Am I getting more positives than negatives out of my friendship with him? And they'll go, yeah, I mean, I don't like that he smokes weed all the time, but like he's been there for me all the time. Yeah. The answer is yes. Yes. He's a fucking good guy. Yeah. Are you giving him more positives than negatives? And they'll think and they'll be like, yeah, I am. Then what the fuck is the issue? This person is a net positive on your life. And you're almost overthinking it by bringing in the weed or like whatever fucking other issue it is. As long as you are getting more positives than negatives, like they are a net benefit to your life. They're not dragging you down. They're not wasting too much of your time. They're not making you feel shitty. Although it's up to you whether you choose not to feel shitty or not. That's a different discussion for another time. The point is, if they are a net benefit to you and you're happy continuing to be a friend with them or be friends with them, then why would you ever stop being friends with them? Let's do an example of girls. Sometimes someone will say, you know, especially in a casual relationship, <clears throat> especially when you're dating multiple women, someone will say, okay, so I'm seeing this one girl. We're just friends with benefits. She knows that I'm sleeping with other girls. She's probably sleeping with other guys. It's pretty casual. I'm not sure though, because I can't really see myself seeing her long term. So, you know, should I break up with her? And I'll say like, hold, the f hold your fucking horses, bro. Like why? First of all, why are you preemptively breaking up with her? Answer me these four questions first. And I will say, are you happy seeing her right now? And they'll say like, yeah. I, is she happy seeing you? And they'll say like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Is she giving you more positives than negatives? And they'll say, yeah, the sex is really good. When we hang out, it's really chill. She's, I like her personality. She's very interesting. We have good conversation. Like, you know, I like the intimacy and the affection. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, 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 for sure. She doesn't really have any negatives at all, really, you know. And I'll say like, are you a net benefit to her? Uh, yeah, the sex is pretty good. She's told me she really likes hanging out with her. She she told me that I made her feel good. You know, when she's having a bad week, she knows she can come chill with me and it's like a nice reward. So yeah, I'm definitely net positive on her life. And I'll say, so why are you overthinking this? Like you're, you're both happy right now. <clears throat> There's no commitment there. It's not like she's demanding a relationship or something or saying you can't sleep with other girls. She's a net benefit to your life and you're a net benefit to her life. Why on earth would you ever, like, why are you overthinking this? And every time I go through this or these four questions with someone, they will answer the four questions like this and they'll go, 
why did I think I needed to like end things with this person? Or why was I on the fence? You're right. Like they are a net positive on my life. I'm a net positive on their life. I'm happy seeing them. They're happy seeing me. What's the issue? And it's like, you were just overthinking things. We do this. We do this so often. We overthink shit. We're like, fuck, you know, this person has to be perfect or I have to see a future with them or, you know, they have to just be the most fucking amazing girl of all time. Like if it's just a fun, friendly, casual relationship, oh, you know, that's not good. Maybe I should like go and find someone else. And it's like, again, if they're a net positive to your life and you're happy and they're happy and you're a net positive on their life, what's the issue? Especially, like I said, when we're talking about a casual relationship where you can go and explore other options as well. It's not like you can only date one woman at a time. Now, if your question was, you're in a serious relationship, like a monogamous relationship, and you're sitting there kind of thinking, should I, like, I don't know that she's like the best person that I could find, or I think maybe I could do better, or maybe I could find a better connection or something. Should I stick with her, or should I go elsewhere? These four questions will at least give you a lot of insight into, or or, uh, they will help you figure out the answer. So sometimes you will run through these four questions. Am I happy? Is she happy? Am I getting more positives than negatives? Is she getting more positives than negatives? You'll run through the answers and the answer may be no. Like she doesn't give me more positives or it's kind of like 50-50. Like there are a lot of issues with the relationship or maybe we have some problems or maybe we don't connect the way that I would like. It's either like really, it's like really close. There's like half positive, half negative, which by the way is kind of not really what you want. You want it to be like massively positive. Or maybe you're not quite happy. Maybe she's not quite happy. That's kind of your answer sometimes. You'll run through these four questions and you go, I don't think I'm happy. That's your answer. Okay, you probably need to either, you need to either fix it. And sometimes that's talking. Sometimes that's talking to friends. Sometimes that's counseling, coaching. You're welcome to hit me up. Um, Sometimes you do all that and you're still unhappy. So you end things. Sometimes the answer comes out as like, no, 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 I'm definitely not getting positives or she's not getting positive. I don't think I'm a positive force on her life. You could change that or you could just say like, I think it's time to end things. Like we had a good run. This was fun. It's time to move on. You know, that sort of stuff. Other times you'll go through this and the answer will be like, I'm really happy. She's happy. We're getting more positives, you know, but I think I still want to end things because I want to go out and explore my other options that's fine. The point of these questions is that they get you thinking about really the heart of any relationship. And when I say relationship, I'm not just talking about like intimate or sexual. I'm also talking about like friends, job, you know, boss, colleague, family members, like any sort of human connection. The core of any relationship or connection has to be, are we adding value to each other's lives? Which is what these four questions get to the heart of. Am I adding to their life and are they adding to mine? And if you're ever not, it's time to either change it and you can always change it. It doesn't mean you have to end the relationship or the friendship immediately. You either need to change it and improve it or move on. And sometimes, you know, changing it just involves having a conversation with the person and they'll go, yeah, do you know what? I don't think we are a good fit. Like, can we fucking fix this? And you'll fix it. Like that happens a lot, especially in like a workplace relationship. Jesus Christ. Or friendship. Sometimes you have bad moments with your friends or family members and you fix it. Other times, like I said, you'll just decide like, no, I want to move on. Like I want to go see what else is out there. You know, I have plenty of coaching clients who've broken up broken up, like broken away from family members even. Sometimes you do this exercise on a fan or, or like in the context of a family member and you decide like I'm not happy this family member is a horrible influence they're toxic as fuck they're evil to me way more negatives almost no positives the only reason I stick around is out of some you know feeling of obligation blood is thicker than water and all that sort of nonsense I think I'm gonna like start moving away and sometimes you don't have to end the relationship you just kind of like see them a little less And sometimes that's the answer here too. You don't have to end a relationship or end a friendship or end a working relationship. You just kind of like withdraw a little bit or see them less often. Or when you see them, you keep it a little more professional. You be a little more businesslike. You don't let your guard down as much. You keep your guard up a little bit. You maybe you don't reveal things that are that would make you vulnerable to someone that you don't trust as much. Like there are obviously a million different solutions to the answers to these questions. Like once you you give the answers to these questions, like how do you deal with it? There's a million different ways you can go. But I want you guys to start thinking of these questions because these are the only four questions that really matter in any sort of uh, connection or relationship, but definitely in a male-female 
uh, sexual or intimate relationship. Like, am I happy? Is she happy? Am I getting more positives than negatives? Is she getting more positives than negatives? I'll leave it there. If you want to hit me up for coaching, links in the description below, and I will be back for another video very soon.